Our 36th project, Do It Australia, was in May 2020. We were in lockdown, but I still wanted to do something. So I reached out to my friend Hans Ulrich Obrist, who is usually full of ideas, and he normally comes up with something different. And he did this time. Hans Ulrich, together with Christian Boltensky and Bertrand Levier in 1993, conceived the idea of Do It. They had this idea of asking artists to give written instructions, which the public then would perform. And they liked the idea, they called it the rules of the game. And there have been many variations of it but there hasn't been one recently. So Hans Ulrich said it would be ideal for you to create a Do It Australia with a different set of artists. And the great advantage of doing it online that we could participate in the UK, Google International was interested, Bloomberg was backing it, and in New York, Independent Curators International was also one of the participants. So not only would it be online in Australia, but also would have an international audience, which really appealed to me. On our side, it was curated by Emily Sullivan with the help of Monique Leslie Watt. On Hans Ulrich's recommendation, we selected not only visual artists, but musicians, dancers, architects, authors, philosophers. So the whole gamut of creativity in Australia. It was a very interesting lineup of artists in their various fields. Raphael Bonacella, dancer, choreographer, Lauren Brinkert, Megan Korp, Brian Futata, Dale Harding, Saskia Havakas, Amrita Happy, Julia Jacklin, Jonathan Jones, Janet Lawrence, Ian Mills, Tracy Moffat, Australia's top architect, Glenn Mercut, and Australia's internationally acclaimed author, Gerald Manabe, Nova Mill, Latai Tomagliao, philosopher Tom Bandor, and Khaled Sasabi. Very interesting mixture of great creative talent. And they all did something different. It's interesting how this really varied group of people embraced the idea. So Hans Ulrich concept resonated to a dancer, to a philosopher, to an author, and obviously to visual artists. It turned out much better than I anticipated. We always want to do something that is different, something that is new. So we worked very hard to create an online catalogue, which really gave the opportunity to show not only the instructions that these artists have given us, but also for the first time in the Do It series, the response of the public, all encompassed, all included in this e-catalog. Later we published a small catalog for basically Hans Ulrich's archives, which he really wanted. What was good about this project, as I said in the beginning, that it reached not only Sydney audiences or Australian audiences, but several of the Australian artists were taken up internationally. 
And that was always my aim, to be able to give Australian artists an overseas exposure. The highlight of the project was a marathon interview by Hans Ulrich from London to Australia, and we managed to coordinate 17 of the 18 artists, and Hans Ulrich interviewed them all, and it is a fantastic end to the project. And my thanks go out to Hans Ulrich for really creating this idea for us so that we could do a project during COVID, during lockdown, with 18 important Australian creatives. Mm -hmm.